everybody, it's Tara Mentz with the Leaf Pack Network, and in this video we're going to go over how to place your packs in the stream. So refer to chapter 2 in your manual, again this can be found in your kit or online, and head to page 22 where we'll walk you through everything you need to know about placing your packs. And the good thing is there are multiple ways to do this, so I'm going to demonstrate a few ways that we've learned from our past Leaf Packers and current Leaf Packers. Um, and their advice on how to do this successfully so your packs don't flood and just wash down the river. So some things that you may want to consider taking out with you is a thermometer because you'll need to take the water temperature when you place the packs. Then you'll need to write that of course on your data sheet so grab a pen or a pencil or a sharpie to write in your data. You may want to take a pair of scissors just in case you need to fix up and tie up any loose ends or re replace your packs. And of course you'll need your packs that have the nylon string attached. And, and this way I've got them in a special configuration where the nylon is not tied throughout the pack because I'm going to place these and actually tie them to a rebar and then place them about a foot apart from that rebar. All right, so I think that's about all you'll need. So grab your boots and let's head to the creek. So here we'll be placing leaf packs in a small third order tributary called the East Branch of White Clay Creek, which runs through the campus of Stroud Water Research Center here in Pennsylvania. And so a few reminders about placing your packs in a stream. Remember the ideal waterway would be a small stream where leaf packs can be placed in shallow riffle habitats or even runs, but not a stream with deep waters such as pools or larger rivers. And a good rule of thumb is to place leaf packs in shallow water where the water level is no higher than your knees. So find an area of a small stream where a clump of leaves would naturally form, such as the upstream side of a large rock or a log. Make sure the water is deep enough for the packs to be totally submerged when placed in the stream. Place the leaf packs at least one to two feet from each other in the same riffle and on the upstream side of the rock or log so that as much surface area of the pack is facing the current as possible. It is best to tie the leaf packs directly to existing rocks in the stream and a riffle habitat. And if there are no rocks, use overhanging roots, or as I've done in this video, I've used cinder blocks with reinforcing rebar or rods. And more directions about this particular method can be found on the leaf packs uh, website. But make sure that all leaf packs are submerged, securely tied, and not floating up and down in the water column. And leaf packs that flap with the current are not properly placed and they'll negatively influence the colonization of macroinvertebrates. If the leaf pack is not securely tied, the pack may dislodge and float downstream. So here I've tied packs to securely placed rebar, like I said, and I've placed rocks along the line, and then one rock on one end of the pack so it is also stable. So complete this process for each of your packs and leave the leaf packs in the stream for three to four weeks. If possible, check the leaf packs periodically to make sure that they remain stable and submerged. So this can occur weekly, but pay special attention after storms or large rain events. Hopefully they'll be back here in three weeks. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Record the information about the site and placement of the leaf packs as well as the air and water temperature you collected in any other chemistry data on your field data sheet. You can also complete the stream sketch on the site map showing the position of each leaf pack in the stream and noting any landmarks that may help in locating them in the future. You can also complete the optional habitat data sheet. So well done on placing your packs and be sure to check out our video on collecting leaf packs from the stream.